What's going on, YouTubers? This is Harry, AKA, or also known as the Brand Builder. So in today's video, as I'm continuing to experiment on what works and what doesn't work, we're going to take a stab at a few things. Um, I will be returning back to the regular format of how the videos go, but I have to play with some of these stock videos and some of these investment videos. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reveal uh, the reasons why you use spreadsheets when investing, one of the good things to do when investing, and especially when you're using a brokerage, whether it be an app or an online brokerage. So, for example, I'm going to be showing you my Robinhood um, app spreadsheet. And uh, one of these days, I'm going to be showing you guys um, some of my other brokerage stuff because I haven't revealed anybody else that I usually use. So, and sometimes you can use drips too so i have stocks where i invested directly through a company so i don't always go to a brokerage for everything you can sometimes go directly to the company which is just as good sometimes it's even better because it's kind of like a do-it-yourself formula but anyway in this video i might have it sped up i'm only saying that in this video right now because i haven't decided um because i don't want to sound long-winded and um I will be talking about the mentality of how things are done. I will continue talking about these topics, people. people. So please bear with me. Be patient with me. Um, I don't know why everybody subscribed, but if you subscribe because of the material, the helpful material that I give you, um, I hope that you're on board with, with everything that's going on. Um, why don't you guys do me a favor and drop a comment below and tell me what the videos, uh, which videos you watch that you like or one of the videos that made you subscribe so I know I know that I'm gonna be doing more videos on eBay and if you're an eBay seller um, and I probably should do more on that too uh, so that I can start you know showing you guys my book where I talk about getting started everything from start to finish so I, I go into description so believe you me I do discuss these things so um, just comment below if you're just stumbling upon this video, make sure you subscribe. And everyone who subscribed to me, do me a favor, guys. Share these videos. Share them on social media, please. I need everyone to, to share this video on social media. If you're a subscriber and you're watching this and you like all my videos, I need your help because I'll tell you guys what's happening. What I'm noticing is I'm, I'm, I'm going to be getting like six subscribers and then five people unsubscribed, then I'll get three, and then two people unsubscribed, then I'll get five, and then two people or three people unsubscribe. So I'm moving up and then people are unsubscribing and I'm trying to figure out what's going on with this channel, which direction it needs to go in so that I can move forward. If you guys aren't liking, liking the stock videos, don't unsubscribe. Say so beneath. Let's engage. Let's talk. Okay? It's not like a lot of you are, are commenting on the videos. So let me know why you subscribe and, and what you're looking for. I'm pretty sure that I can post. If I have to, I'll post videos every day so that I'm trying to meet everybody's needs. Uh, my die, ride or die, die hard subscribers are going to stick with me through thick and thin regardless. I know who all you guys are. Um, and follow me on Twitter at the link below. So if, 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 if you're kind of a funny subscriber and you want to see more material that you think is going to help you, um, then comment below and tell me what you want to see. Okay, I, I do take requests. If I have to smush requests into each other, and uh, I'll do it. So tell me what it is you guys want to see, and let's get into the spreadsheet. So um, we're going to be doing a Robin Hood spreadsheet. I talked to you, I think in one of my videos, I said don't do spreadsheets on budgets, but this is the one good thing to do your spreadsheet on. All right, see you guys soon. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure you subscribe. Because I've been flooded with questions and emails, I figure I show people, because I was asked this question by two people that I greatly respect, and they asked me, what should you be using your spreadsheets for, right? So if you have a Google account, you have this thing called Google Spreadsheets. It's free. You don't have to pay for any software or anything like that. Um, you could do Microsoft Excel if you want. I also have a Microsoft account. Uh, so right here in my Google Spreadsheets um, is, if you look at the top, the corner right there, um, the left side of this spreadsheet, you'll see it says Robinhood Stocks Portfolio. So some people were wondering what a discount vendor is, and you wanted to know what are some of the vendors or brokerages you can use to trade stocks. Now, the reason why I use Robinhood for these particular stocks here is because 
they're they're kind of cheaper stocks except for the one apple share that i have in this portfolio but it's commission free trading so it's fun i do use other vendors but for this particular portfolio this is kind of like a fun spread so if anybody wants to know some of the things that i invest in on this uh, platform which i'm going to be investing in more i'm probably going to have about 500 different companies uh, with this particular vendor uh, i might do more so as you can see here avenue income acp agp apple i have this in alphabetical order but when i add more on here they probably won't be uh, yield shares high income etf that's why 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 three shares of that average cost per share is around ballpark of 1910 so and you'll see like ford motor uh, i put that there twice because there's quite a significant difference in the price of what i bought one share for and the other i could have averaged it out but i wasn't in the mood uh so and then here in this column here you'll see shares like three shares one shares two shares and what they cost and then here in this column is the annual dividend payout amount right so for each share of this particular stock um, at this price, this is what I'm going to be getting a year for each. I have in column F here, X3, which is times three. So it's 144 times three. And if you get all of this here together annually, you're looking at $46 and, and, and uh, I think it's uh, 32 cents or something like that. I'm not completely sure. I wrote the number down. I thought I, rem I remembered it, but I did not. So this is a good thing to do with your spreadsheet because if you plan to collect a lot of different shares and different companies and diversify your portfolio, you you might want to keep a spreadsheet because you're not going to um, you're not going to want to keep this information um, all on the same thing and and Robinhood's like an app only so you can't really keep it on your desktop and it's just too much so you, if you just do a nice clean spreadsheet you can see all your transactions what the cost was and, it, and it's better doing it this way because it, you know if you look at your apps or you go to like some of the other vendors. Um, the transactions are numerous. You're going to see dividend dividend payouts and all that other stuff. And I would probably do a separate spreadsheet for dividend payouts. Um, but you're, you're also going to get a 1099 at the end of the year. So it's up to you whether you want to break it up or not. For me, this is kind of just like an inventory sheet, you know. So it's just a way to see um, what you're doing with your stocks. So this is the inventory sheet. And it's just a way to calculate what you're investing in, how much it costs, you know, what the annual dividend yield is. 69 cents for that one I have one share so for eight dollars and 27 cents an annual yield dividend um of 69 cents that's not bad you know especially this acp stock at 144 that's incredible actually so um and then general electric which um this is a company i really believe in i'm not telling anybody what companies you should be investing in um i have these picks for my own reason as you can see i have apple here I purchased Apple for $139.14 at that time Alpine Global Dynamic so as you can see I got that for 965 a share uh, PCM fund uh, pretty decent 20 shares of that one average cost and its dividend annual dividend yield at 96 cents so roughly nearly about $20 a year um, a whole lot of different companies here so I mean for me this is really just fun you know with stocks you can make money you can lose money I, I do believe that um, broke investors are the best ones because usually when you have money sometimes you want to play with different it's like experimenting and uh, people who don't have as much money aren't going to waste as much on a company that they don't do their research on and try to evaluate as much as possible so um, I'm kind of a risk taker and I don't always care if I lose money in the market. I just want to be in the market and uh, make some smart decisions and make some money. Um, I don't really think that that most people in, in the stock market, um, well, most people do lose money in the stock market, but those are people who don't really um, diversify their portfolio.